Hello, welcome back everyone. So um, next up we have uh, with us the Vice CEO of Cixi Charity Foundation, Brother David Liu, to share with us the topic on inner cultivation and outward practice of Cixi volunteers. So let's welcome Brother David Liu. Okay, thank you. Good morning, afternoon, and the evening, all brothers and sisters. In today's English volunteer training, I'm very happy to know there are so many volunteers all over the world coming together to learn online. During our last training session in March this year, I have given a short speech. And today I'm very pleased to be invited to conduct this class for you. There are currently 428 students enrolled from 22 countries. But the last lecture ended with the more than 600 people in 25 countries. According to the registration information today, we have 30 students from Sri Lanka and 44 from South Africa, 52 from Sierra Leone, 59 from Nepal, and less than 10 students from other countries. But what I want to announce to you is that Mozambique has 92 students studying online. Last time I remember, Mozambique also had the largest number of applicants. This is really very great. Hopefully we can learn together and encourage each other. Actually, this is a good opportunity to cultivate good affinities with all of you that reside in different parts of the world. This is something I'm most grateful about. So thank you so much for giving me such good opportunity. I understand that there are many African volunteers also online today. It is always Master Ching Yen's wish to transform the lives of Africa. And for this reason, volunteers from the African countries need to work harder and be more diligent so that you can shoulder more responsibilities in such missions. My topic today is about the inner cultivation and outward practice of such volunteers. This is an important lesson for all Tsuji volunteers. It will help you understand the background of the organization you have chosen to join and also let you realize the nature, its spirit and the philosophy behind it. Why are there so many active volunteers participating in several hundred locations in more than 60 countries worldwide? Why? This is why there are international disasters that happen. Tsuji volunteers are always the first to reach and the last to leave the disaster area. What is the driving force behind all this? All of us need to know the reason. It is only through attending Tsuji training course or watching Da'ai TV programs or listening Da'ai news broadcast that you will understand the reasons behind all this. And you will also at the same time get the latest updates on Tsuji around the world. All Tsuji volunteers are required to attend training course, like now, uh, before they can, they can be certified as a commissioner. The training classes are important because it focuses on the following teachings. Cultivate the right mindset and training to develop a strong and steadfast faith. These two are the important. Uh, Brother David, I think uh, your mic has been muted. Uh, can uh, our host help to unmute the, the mic? Brother David's uh, mic has been muted. Yeah. To hear me? Ah, okay, yes, we can hear you now. Ah, can so sh should I repeat? No problem? Uh, yes, I, I think the, the, the last part, uh, we couldn't hear your last part of the sharing. Continue. Just continue? Uh, yeah, you can continue. Okay. 
So in short, as a Chuji volunteer, it is not just about doing good deeds, but learning to do good deeds with wisdom. In other words, as a Chuji volunteer, it is not only about being a good person, but also good, also a good person who can act with wisdom. We not only need compassion, but also need wisdom. Both must work hand in hand in order to achieve the best result. In Tsuji, Tsuji school is compassion. Jin Shi Dharma lineage is wisdom. Our outward practice are through Tsuji school, and our inner cultivation is through Jin Shi Dharma lineage. True spiritual cultivation must involve inter internal cultivation and our actions. This is also the core principle of Bodhisattva path. Internal cultivation involves deep understanding of the sutra. Our practice, our action means going to help the people. With both in tandem, we can then achieve wisdom and blessings. This is the main objective and importance of learning the Buddha, learning the Dharma. Therefore, inner cultivation and our practice, meaning the Dharma lineage and the Tsuji school, should run parallel in our learning process. It is like a railway check. The train will not be able to move in one check if, if one check is missing. Suji school is, is working for all living beings, and Jin Shi Dharma lineage is for Buddhism. This is Master Qing Yen's great vow. This is what we call Buddhism and for all living beings. For Buddhism and for all living beings, this means it is like both our legs. We can only walk fast and steady with two both legs in action. Suji's four missions and a footprints or any other Tsuji activities, including helping poor, home visit, disaster relief, and, and uh, distribution, relief distribution, a free clinic, a charity fair, charity performance, a study group, etc., are all under the umbrella of Tsuji school. This is always the same spiritual idea behind all these activities, such as the humanistic values, the action plan, the philosophy, and the guiding principles. All these are under the epic of Jin Shi Dharma lineage. Hence, the Tsuji school is one of skillful means. It is a convenient way for people to adapt under different circumstances and different country, countries. Everyone can choose to join as a volunteer according to what is suitable for him. There is only one thing cannot be changed. That is the Dharma lineage. Dharma lineage cannot be changed. This is something everyone must follow because it is guiding, it is the guiding principles in our actions. We can have different ways of getting something done, but the source of our action originates from the Dharma lineage. Our missions are just like many different strings. Each carry out different activities and actions, but all the strings are tied together with the same, same knot on the top. This, this knot is just like the source of our Dharma lineage, the Jin Shi Dharma lineage. Brothers and sisters, I'm not sure if you have seen Chinese rice dumpling before. We have a bundle of dumpling string tied together to a single knot. Every rice dumpling is wrapped in the dumpling leaf and secured with one of the strings from the knot. We then have a bundle of dumplings where we can lift up all the dumplings at one go easily. Each and every string represents the different missions and activities we are doing. This is our world practice and Tsuji school. In the bundle of the dumplings, all the strings are from the one knot only, which is on the top. And this is the source of Dharma. 
what we call Jin Si Dama lineage. The screen securing the right dumplings is our action. And the not securing all strings together is the overall driver. The string is just like Tzu school. And the knot is just like Jin Su Dharma lineage. In a very simple explanation, the Dharma lineage is like an army general and the school where all, where all the activities are carried out must follow the general's command, right? This will ensure that there will not be any deviation in our action. When we carry out any activity, one example is when we conduct disaster relief. This is our mission. But we need to have the right spiritual ways and wisdom to carry out the relief operation. And the spiritual ways and the wisdom is our Dharma lineage, which is very quite important for our operations. For example, it is like the war in, in Ukraine now, which has caused more than 5 million Ukrainian refugees seeking for the shelter in the neighboring countries. More than half of the refugees have entered Poland. Suji wanted to help these refugees, but helping disaster victims and helping refugees are two different things. This is because disaster victims are normally localized at one place only. But refugees are all over the place and it is not easy to check their whereabouts and numbers. As disaster victims are fixed at the location, we can easily obtain the necessary updates and therefore can mobilize the manpower immediately to carry out emergency relief and assistance when disaster strikes. Providing assistance to refugees are far more complicated. This is due to war that people become refugees. Refugees would flee progressively in patches from time to time. Their situation and are uncertain as they are always on the move. So when war happens, there is no way to act instantly to provide large scale assistance. And that is the biggest difference between relief efforts for disaster victims and refugees. This is a big difference here. That means more wisdom will be required for the assistance to refugees. With these considerations in mind, Tsuji has progressively signed memorandum of cooperation with UNICEF. This is under United Nations. And Polish Red Cross, Polish Women Can Foundation, and India's Saint Chameleon in Poland by the end of April. We already signed MOU with them. This is, we want to work together to help Ukraine refugees. In short, the aim of helping and rescue and rescue and rescuing people are the, are the compassionate acts of Tsuji School. While providing ways of belief and assistance will require wisdom and ingenious solutions. Such wisdom comes from Jin Si Dhamma lineage, which strive for more comprehensive assistance to refugees and disaster victims. To quote another example for better, for our better understanding, is the Tsuji International Pandemic Relief Effort, which aims to help those affected by the pandemic that has been ongoing for two years. Tsuji always present in times of need and has provided resources to 97 countries to help fight the pandemic. Under the assistance of, the, of this program, there are 44 countries who are able to receive those much needed medical supplies and equipment like oxygen concentrator machine and oxygen generators. When most countries went into lockdown, many charity organizations were unable to provide large scale distribution of, of basic necessities to area in need. 
but must Ching Yen lead all Cixi volunteers with wisdom to overcome many difficulties and inconveniences by seeing every opportunity to help many troubled families around the world. Master Ching Yen think that the more difficult the matter, the more will be required of our compassion and wisdom, especially when there were so many families in deep trouble around the world. Bodhisattva must appear in time and in all places that require, that require help. How could Bodhisattva be locked at home and not extend our helping hands? Right? Therefore, at the very beginning of pandemic, Master gave all Tsuji volunteers globally a clear direction, which was to reach out continuously the suffering and needy, while strictly observing all safety measures set by their local governments. This is very important. So the important, the important principle behind this instruction was to protect one's property while we are helping others. We have no, we have no how to protect yourself as well. All Tsuji volunteers must practice precautionary measures against the COVID infection during distribution by observing social distancing and to avoid mass gathering by having more slots or extending distinction at this distribution hours. It was under such coordinated efforts that over 100 countries benefited from the assistance by Suji Foundation. Master Chen Yen told Suji volunteers that the people in the entire world are suffering badly from the pandemic and this is the serious matter since this is a serious, ma serious matter to the world, Suji volunteer must be involved to help. So there will be no regret in our life. The greatest punishment in life is living with regrets. This in, it is our genius aphorism. This is the opportunity education of Master Chen Yen. This is really full of compassion and wisdom. Attending course training and group study session are ways of inner cultivation. Whereas participating instantly in disaster relief effort are always of outward practice. We depend on inner cultivation to inspire our wisdom and need to practice outwardly to help sentient beings. This is the spiritual practice of Tsuji. I just quoted examples of the relief operation for Ukrainian refugees and the Tsuji International Pandemic Relief Efforts. And everyone should clear know that Tsuji is a human, humanitarian organization. Individual home visit is the same principle and idea like those large scale relief works. Same. Going for home visit and helping the needy are our practice of Tsuji school. But wisdom is very needed when helping people and that requires the cultivation of the inner self to inspire wisdom. Therefore, wisdom is our Dharma lineage. Now all of you attending this training course, that means you are cultivating the inner self. And after this course, you go and participate in home visit, a disaster relief efforts, a distribution to the needy and the other Tsuji activities. These are the outward practice in Tsuji school. I hope all of you are clear for this. After listening, we will understand the importance of inner cultivation and our practice. And also the significance of Tsuji school and Jin Si Dhamma lineage. Since we know their importance, we should never choose by preference to only engage one either in either one of them. 
This will result in us not being able to carry out our duties properly. Very important. Like Suji volunteers in Mozambique, they plan they plan vegetables during normal times to help the needy, and that is the way of our practice in Suji school by putting their loving kindness into actions to make good affinities with other people. The volunteer will also accumulate blessings throughout his dedication. And this will cause him to get more fortunes back in time should he need it. This is the truth of cause and effect. Uh, these Mozambique volunteers will attend online lessons to listen to master's teaching when not prof in the land. This is because they want to become a better person. They even conduct Dharma training course for themselves. This is not easy. And also share their experience in the session. This is really admirable. This is the practice of inner cultivation and understand, understanding the Dharma lineage. This is really very good job, actually. If we only love to participate in Suji activities, but never attend training courses, we will end up having compassion, but no wisdom. In contrary, if we only like to attend courses and study sessions, but do not wish to participate or contribute ourselves, then we may be inspired with loving kindness, but there is no action. We may have wisdom, but are not compassionate. Therefore, all the Buddha horse in Tsuji horse worldwide has a couplet on each side of the hall. One side is Tsuji school is a way of Bodhisattva in the world. On the other side is Jin Shi Dhamma lineage is a path of diligent practice to couplet. This is one side is Tsuji school and on the other side is Dharma lineage, which shows how important the inner cultivation of the Dharma is. And our practice through Tsuji missions is equally important. Now I use a simple example to explain the internal relationship between the Tsuji school and the Dharma lineage. And, you, and this will help you understand very well. Tsuji school is like a light bulb. Tsuji school is like the light, light bulb. And the Dharma lineage is like the electric current. Without the electric current, the light bulb will not light up. In the same way, there are wires to conveniently transmit electricity. But the electric current is the real thing Although he is, cannot see, we cannot see, but he is real. The lamb is a form, is convenient, and is the Tsuji school of Buddhism. The current, the electric current, is invisible, but it is real. It is a Dharma lineage. Okay. Image, images of the wisdom at the down by Master Qing Yan are transmitted to the world. And it is necessary to have both sound and image transmitted to the world, to the cloud, to the cloud. Then broadcast from the cloud to the world so that we can hear Master's voice and see her images. When the session ends, we can no longer hear any sound and there are no more images. So we say, that the sound and the image are tangible. So it is illusory. Without the combination and connection between the sound and image, we cannot see nor hear anything. So it is real. To give another example, the Tsuji school is like the hands and feet of the body. And the Dharma lineage is like a person's heart and brain. 
with the above examples, we can clearly understand the relationship between the Tsuji school and Dharma lineage. And both are important. The way of Tsuji's cultivation we call Buddhism in action. That means you have to put every put your theory into implementation. You need to implement, very important. Take action. That means which means not asking you to chant more sutra, but to carry out the sutra in action. So emphasize on taking action instead of chanting. It is better to save someone once rather than to recite the sutra 10,000 times. And it is better to carry out in practice once rather than to speak 10 million times. This is about the, this is all about emphasizing the importance of physical practice rather than the empty talk. If I say that I know the way very well, but do not carry it out, then in reality, we do not know the way. Similarly, I may not know deeply the way, but I just keep doing it because it is right. Then we will understand the way after doing it many times. And this is the philosophy of the life. Such volunteers do not, do not study Buddhism, but they practice Buddhism. If you can apply the Dharma, you learn, then this is really the highest value of the Dharma. On the contrary, if the Dharma you learn cannot be used in your daily life, then the value of the Dharma is zero. Suji volunteers should set a good example among themselves as well. And everyone can be contented, grateful, understanding, and tolerant of one another. Then our Dharma path will be filled with the spirit and will attract more and more people to join us. Then our collective strength will be great and we will even be able to transform Africa. This is very important. In terms of the global structure of Tsuji, the knot on the top of the bundle of the dumplings is the source of the Dharma, source of the Dharma. That is Tsuji Taiwan headquarter. The many screen represent the many Tsuji branch office around the world. In addition, Hospital volunteers are formed for skillful means because when they serve at hospital, they can see so many sick cases and poor cases. And when is life is impermanent, when you are in the hospital, you are doing the working as a volunteer in the hospital, you will see this, the life is impermanent. This is what they learn in hospital. Same thing. For the lonely elders who have nothing to do and just stay at home, we encourage them to participate in recycling activities in the community. And because they contact with the crowd, their life goals and focus in life totally change for the better. And their depression is gone without any medicine. And their original useless selves have become useful talents not only in recycling, but also in all such activity as well. There are so many such true stories in Suji. I think you have witnessed it by yourself. As long as you are participating. Same story, some volunteers are hurt in their feelings while doing Suji activities, right? This cannot avoid. In the crowd, this really cannot avoid, hard to avoid. And this is what we can learn from the crowd. They just stay, no people, he get hurt. He just stay at home and self-isolate. This is not good actually. And this will cause a state of depression in themselves. So must get involved in crowd so as to cultivate our mind. This is what we call mind training. Must be in the in the crowd 
and you will grow up very fast for your mentality throughout this kind of the environment. Cultivation cannot leave crowd and press and and personnel problem occurred in the crowd, much deep into the crowd, then you will find the answer. This is also what we call skillful means. And through this wondrous Dharma, you, we see a very good result for those people. And this good result of changing much better for their core value and mindset, especially inspire their wisdom this is what we call true Dharma, because he, his mentality already increased, already inspired. So skillful means and true Dharma, both are always combined together. And this is the purpose of join Tsuji. Why we join Tsuji? Because we want to learn. There is very important concept of learning Buddhism. That is, to follow a teacher with one heart and one mind, to walk in the Dharma path only, only one, never go to a second one, never to listen to another master, so that our genuine faith can form root and remain focused. On the contrary, participating in, in, in every Dharma meeting available, listening to different Dharma teachers, accepting invitation to be volunteer in different occasions. This is like setting foot on two diverse boats and having chaotic mindset. This is what we call faith without firm root. Faith without firm root. This means target drift. Drift, uh, drifting, uh, drifting targets will cause the dispersion of power. Therefore, the successful, the successful person is one who is focused on one thing, and the loser is the one who is multi-party. So we must know how to clarify it. In fact, this is not enough to attend a training course once in a long while. Because in our daily life to work, especially in this er era of moral decay, where there are many disasters, people get confused, and the serious pandemic in the past two years, bringing many life crises to mankind, including se severe shortage of the resources, rising commodity prices, high unemployment, and many changes in living, working, and shopping habits as well, as changes in the way people interact with one another and so on. There are challenges and tests everywhere. So now the enemy we are facing is not our competitors, but it is the world situation. And if we want to be calm and at ease in such a difficult situation, we must have the correct value of life together with adaptability and flexibility. These two factors are very important right now. Yeah. In order to be unfazed, and we need to have a navigator who can lead us to a correct direction and go. This wisdom, this wisdom has to be from our master through the ground education, which master always say ground education. And if we want to accept this education, we need to listen to the wise teachings of this enlightened master. And if we want to overcome difficulties, solve problems, and transcend difficulties, this must be through carrying out suji activities, cultivate compassion and increase wisdom as well, while devoting ourselves to the suji school and appreciating the Dharma lineage. So we have many things to do, many Dharma to learn, and long, long way to go. Throughout this process, we learn while we do and get wisdom as we learn, 
This must be learned through working to grow. Let us encourage and motivate one another on Suji Buddhist Dharma path. There are three goals we need to strive for. Firstly, the undertaking of more work responsibility. Secondly, accelerating the spread of the Dharma lineage and doubling our life of wisdom. These three goals we need to strive towards through unwavering persistence. So we need to learn. I wish every one of you a happy study today. And thank you so much for your attending this training course. You are very welcome to back, well, you are very welcome back to Taiwan, Hualien Suji abode after the pandemic is over. All the best for you and everyone take care. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you very much, Father David Liu, for the very enlightening sharing. Yeah, so it's very apt that uh, Brother mentioned about our zhong chuan, our dumplings, uh, because the dumpling festival is coming. So even if um, maybe perhaps in your own country, you might not have this um, culture, but I'm sure as you watch Life Wisdom in the next couple of weeks, you'll see a lot of dumplings. So it reminds us of the Jing Si Dharma lineage and our Tsuji School of Buddhism. Okay, and then um, over here, I would also like to uh, report to everyone a very good news that in Mozambique today we have currently 183 volunteers attending yeah so much more than uh, hey bye bye. <laughs> bye 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 <laughs> yes let's wave to brother David and thank um, brother for his wonderful sharing